Hi everyone good to see you again all I hope you all will be fine. On Tuesday, the U.S. Ambassador to Iraq, Alina L. Romanovsky, announced that Elizabeth Rosenberg, the Assistant Secretary for Terrorist Financing and Financial Crimes at the U.S. Department of the Treasury, has arrived in Baghdad. Glad to welcome Treasury A.S. Rosenberg to Baghdad for key meetings with government leaders and the Central Bank of Iraq. Progress on international anti-money laundering and banking reform will help combat corruption and support international invest in Iraq. Romanovsky wrote on X platform. And the Iraqi Prime Minister, Mohammad Shia al-Sudani, discussed on Tuesday with the Austrian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Alexander Schallenberg, Iraqi-Austrian relations and ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in different fields. Schallenberg was accompanied by a delegation, including several representatives of Austrian companies and businessmen, according to a statement issued by the Prime Minister's Office PMO. Al-Sudani welcomed the step taken by the Austrian government to reopen its embassy in Baghdad and the visit of the Austrian delegation, where several memoranda of understanding related to security, transportation, and economic cooperation were signed. Schallenberg, on behalf of the Chancellor of Austria, invited the Iraqi Prime Minister to visit Austria to discuss further opportunities for bilateral partnership. The Austrian Foreign Minister expressed his government's desire to develop the partnership between the two countries at various levels, as well as Austria's eagerness to cooperate with Iraq in the fields of health, education, communications, infrastructure, and information technology. Austrian businessmen reviewed their companies, capabilities and their previous experiences in several economic and technological fields. And the Austrian Minister of Foreign Affairs, Alexander Schallenberg, announced on Tuesday that the Austrian embassy in Baghdad has been reopened. And a parliamentary source reported, on Tuesday, that the Council of Representatives will host the Governor of Nineveh and several government officials from the Governorate to scrutinize project files. The source informed Shafak News Agency that, the Parliamentary Integrity Committee will host the local government in Nineveh next Monday, in the presence of the Integrity Commission Koi, to audit information related to the Governorate's projects. The hosting will include 14 officials from the local government in Nineveh, led by Governor Najam al Jabouri. In recent years, Nineveh has witnessed several operations conducted by COI that revealed the involvement of senior government officials, department directors, and employees in various corruption cases. These cases include significant manipulations in state owned properties, their sale, and ownership transfers as well as corruption within the Nineveh Health Department and other departments. Thanks take care.